Hello, my wascoey wabbits. This is my bunny that's being launched from the art packs. So cute. We love a bunny rabbit here. So I'm coming in with the green and I'm going to do, I'm adding some white to the dark green because I want to have like a, a wash, an acrylic wash. So make sure that you add quite a bit of water to that. At home, you might want to um, paint with this flat. So it's always easier to handle um, with a wash or you may want to keep a, a little chucks or a clean chucks or a rag beside you if you get any spills. So you, you work quite quickly with a wash. So you come in, I'm using my number eight brush, my big brush. Come in quite quickly on the canvas. With this painting, you almost, you. so we're trying to have it look like a watercolor wash, really. But we're working with acrylic, so. So it's quite nice to have the dabs, the brush strokes coming through, I feel. It'll give it that real little Peter Rabbit feel. The beautiful illustrations by Beatrix Potter, weren't they? The watercolours. So I'm going to keep adding She was also a botanist, wasn't she? She did um, plant illustrations, which really showed in her work. It's like I was an illustrator, so I think it really shows in my painting as well. So see how that was really running down? I still love drawing. I really, I'm gonna have some drawing videos, you know, for free up on um, YouTube soon too, so people can just draw along at home. Because I know not everyone has paints or is, that, or is you know, able to get an art pack. So I feel like that's something that I could do for everybody at home at this time. And who knows, moving forward, I might do, um, do my after school classes online. I might do all my classes online. So I'm gonna come in and make a light blue now. And you probably notice it's true what I say, I'm a little bit lazy with by cleaning on my brush. So I, um, I didn't even clean my brush, I just went straight into the blue. Because blue with a little bit of green in it never looks too bad anyway. So when I come in, I'm gonna do this blue. Oh, his jacket and the jacket even comes up inside lovely so now we're going to do the brown so with the brown i want you to add some white so i'm going to grab my brown i'm going to put that on my palette i'm even i'm just going to put it on top of the blue here it actually really makes quite a nice because we don't want the brown being too dark. You want it to you want it still to be um, quite light. So now I've made that into a wash and I'm going to come in. The trick is to add quite a bit of water so you're going to have enough. It's almost like a bit of a gum tree. That's my little sun copy. It's got a little bit of asthma for a kid. So um, then I'm going to come in here and do. He's fine though. And I hope you're all well at home too. Thank you for having me into your homes on these YouTube videos. It's been quite an honor. So I'm coming in around, it's been um, been an interesting juggle for, for me the past week. So, and I bet it has for you too at home. 
Be good to your mother, you little people. So coming in around the bunny ears here. Who loved those Peter Rabbit movies? They were so cute. I love them. And I'm a bit of a sucker for Paddington Bear. When I was a little girl, that's all I wanted was Paddington Bear. <laughs> my dad used to run the toy section at Maya for a long time at Indrapilly Shopping Town. And I used to go and see him and beg him for Paddington Bear. I think I finally got a puddle duck. Oh, very expensive. So there you go. So that's the brown. So with the brown too, you can add a little bit of white on top of the ears. My mum gave me a real Paddington when I was an adult years later. I made her feel bad. <laughs> Don't make your mum feel bad, kids. So I'm going to come in there. So isn't that gorgeous? Adding in some highlights. And it's nice to do while it's still wet. So see, every one of my paintings always changes. So this is a bit of a darker brown I've done here and this is a bit of a lighter brown. So this is a good thing that I'm showing you how paintings, even artists who've painted them quite a few times, we mix it up, we change it. Kind of get a bit bored with the same idea all the time. So now I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the red, tiny hint of the red with some white. So I really wanna make a really pale, pale pink to add on the cheeks here and just here above the nose. Rabbits have the cutest nose. Who's held a rabbit? I can never get over how strong they are. Their legs are so powerful. There's a um, farm stay in New South Wales at Hosanna and they have rabbits. Cause you can have them in New South Wales, you can't have them here. And a little rabbit bit me on the finger. It's probably hungry, poor little thing. So while you've got that, um, I'd probably bite me on the finger too if I was a rabbit. <laughs> so now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put some white. On top of that. Even now could be a time to cover those lines with the white and pink. So it just gives a nice soft softness to those little cheeks. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of red to make that nose a little bit darker. Just so it stands out, the little nose there. And so from here, it's really a matter of, um, I missed the blue. So what I'm gonna do, so <coughs> I'm gonna put a bit of blue. Talking too much, I need some water. So I'm gonna put a bit of blue with some white and make a, a nice little blue wash that come in. and almost do like some circular motions, like some cloud. cloud effect here. Oh, and that's why it might be better for you to have it flat because they can, can run and get away from you there. Oops. Got the kids in the studio, that's how much we're chuckle it's all been but everyone's juggling aren't we they're all juggling okay that's looking quite lovely 
So now from here, it's going to be using your small brush, the number um, four brush, and we're making. Um, come on, boys! Mum's recording here. <laughs> Hello. So this is continuation of the bunny. I felt like my bunny was a little bit. That's just my children. Um, I felt like my bunny was looking a bit greeny grey, so I'm just going to add in a bit of a darker brown over the top here. So this is a great thing about painting, you can keep adding in and taking out. It's awesome. They're coming it around. So that was still a, a brown wash, so adding water to your painting here. Those of you who know me well know I've got three boys. It's a very difficult time keeping them occupied during this isolation time. They don't really understand. They All they want to do is go to the skate park, which we can't really do right now, can we? So I brought them to the studio to keep them entertained. Okay. So there you go. So if they pop in, that's my kids. So now I'm going to add a little bit of white, keeping it real here, a little bit of white to the brown and add in some highlights. Hi, Oliver. You're learning to skate. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, Hang on, I'm just recording my bunny. So, but we will talk about skating. You got those shoes from, um, well, Xavier got them from um, Auntie Teresa, hey? So there, so I've just added some highlights to my bunny. So now I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm making pink now, Ollie. Yeah, it's a bunny. So I'm gonna grab just a tiny, still with my medium brush, just a tiny hint of red and making a really pale, very pale, pale pink. And I'm just gonna come back in on top of that again. Because <coughs> as it dries, Ollie's got a little cough, but he's well. He's fine, you're fine, aren't you, Ollie? Yeah. So there, I'm just adding on top of that pink because some of that, um, you know, the lines were coming through there. And so now I'm going to add a little bit of white and like blend that in. That's a copy too. <laughs> I might have to film this again at some stage. So I just really wanted to get these out for you because you'll be getting your packs in the next few days. But I'll try and do another video. So now we're in the final part of the... Um, painting with the black. So take black from your pot, add it to your palette, and then you add water here, Ollie. Mm -hmm. And then you make it like a little bit runny, but not too runny, just a little bit runny. And then I like to use my black a little bit like an ink pen and color around here. It's always good to have the boys in the studio. <laughs> that's a question. Okay, that's enough, Ollie, hang on. Hang on, I'm nearly there. And then I'm gonna come around all the outlines essentially around the nose. So once again, just really lightly, you don't, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not about being perfect, this is art. I'm gonna come in around those outlines there. Maybe even putting some little Peter Rabbit worry lines into the face. Not that it's Peter Rabbit, but it's our rabbit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Some little dots there. What do you want for Easter, Ollie? A cockatoo and a bunny. A cockatoo and a bunny. Wow. Real live ones? Yeah. You want real live ones? But, I'm going to come in both and, um, babies. Baby ones? 
And I wanted to never grow. To, oh, that's like my babies. You're growing. Wait, I said never grow. Oh, okay. Well, you've got to... I don't think they've invented them yet. And so now I've just put those dots on. I'm, I'm going to turn him into a little bit of a French rabbit, this one, and do a few little stripes down there. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my white, my clean white, and I'm going to put in some little whiskers. I thought the whiskers were black. I'm going to do, I'm going to do white and then I'll put some little black ones on top. Oh. Yeah, see, you're learning all my tricks. You learn a few of my tricks anyway, don't I you? I thought you do the black before the white. No, I'm going to, no, I'm doing the, um, I'm doing it differently this time. And so then I'm going to do some highlights there with the black, see? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there we go, our little waskawi wabbit. Can I watch you? Yeah, of course you can watch me. <laughs> um, so there you go. My boys love hanging out in the studio with me and I love them being here too. So I hope you enjoy uh, the rabbit at home. Have a great Easter, everyone. Stay safe and bye for now.